Okay, hi, hello, good evening to you, and welcome to the end of January. What a month it has been! I want, I wanted to know your opinion on favourites videos, I wanted to know if you wanted me to do one. So I put out a poll, and you said you did! So, be sure to follow on Twitter for more decisions such as these, because I do tend to do these a lot. So follow me on Twitter for that, and let's get into the monthly favourites! I'm gonna do it separated by category. Let's see how long this lasts. Let's see what my favourites were for this month! Let's talk about food, baby! This isn't the first month that I've had it. I've had it when I go to Disney World, I've had it in a pub somewhere, I mean this was a posh pub, but I've had it in a pub somewhere, so like this isn't just a, like a, um, a January exclusive, a January discovery, but I have been having it a lot more this month. Salmon and cream cheese bagels are the best thing ever, just, just, just ever, just ever, like take the best thing, times it by 10 and then taste it. Nope. Mmm. <laughs> that sounds weird. Don't do that. Cheese and salmon bagels. If you're into your meat, I'd recommend it. It's, it's, a, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good nom time. Pretty good, not pretty good food stuff. Music. The first thing on my list is Paramore's After Laughter. Now I know what you're thinking. Now, why is it in your 2018 January favourites list? Because it wasn't released in this time. No, that's true. It wasn't released in this month, but I did go and see them live this month. So my poor family had to listen to After Laughter on repeat until I went to go and see Paramore in Cardiff. Which is amazing. Yes, bitch. Yes. I listened to that on repeat and I loved it and I just thought I'd share that with you. Now, I made a discovery and this album, as far as I'm aware, was released. Give me a second to look this up. BRB. So it was released this month and it was recommended to me on Apple Music because I have that. I'm one of those people who has Apple Music over Spotify. Sue me. Please don't. I'm poor. But I have Apple Music. It was one of the ones that was rec recommended, recognised. It was recognised. It was one of those songs that was recommended to me. Um, I think it was on the charts actually. Not even in one of my personal playlists but in the charts. It was re I saw an album, thought it was interesting. Ruins by First Aid Kit. Oh my god. What an album. It's alternative. It kind of reminds me of Stevie Nicks a bit, which I'm a big fan of Stevie Nicks and Fleetwood Mac, you know. If I can find something that's similar, I ain't gonna complain. But then um, I started listening to the entirety of the First Aid Kit library, I guess, the, the whole history. And now I'm a bit obsessed. So take that. I would, I mean, I can't recommend Ruins enough. But you know, if you want to listen to the entirety of their back history as well, I'd go for it because it, they're pretty solid. Pretty, pretty sound. Hey, hey, you see what I did there? I'm, I'm desperate for laughs. Please, please validate me. Next, again, I don't know when the rest of it is released, but Dita Von Tees, a personal hero of mine, is also releasing an album. Let me just, let, let, this, let this just sink in for a second. Dita Von Tees, perhaps the sexiest woman alive, but also a very, 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 very good businesswoman and fashion designer. A lingerie designer, but fashion designer nonetheless. She's releasing an album and it's it's very like, I've only listened to Rendezvous, but it's very like, mm hmm. Love, love, love. I don't know when the album's out, quite frankly, I don't care. I just want it now. Like, oh, I love it so much. Even, even the album artwork as well, it's just, yeah, yeah. Movies and entertainment. Now, I was, I mean, I, I, I was a big fan of this woman a long time ago, and then, like, I started getting into gaming, and, you know, when, you know, I was obvious, when one vlogger comes in, another one has to go out. So I kind of, and sadly, I kind of replaced daily vlogs and lifestyle vlogs for gaming vlogs because that's what I was obsessed with at the time. Um, still kind of, you know, I'm still, I'm still in there. You know, Jacksepticeye, Subnautica series and all that. Pretty, pretty lit. But I'm back in with the lifestyle vloggers now. Can I just say, to start off with, I missed Superwoman. Like, like I, I missed her, obviously. But 
I didn't realize just how much until I started watching her vlogs again and now I'm just like girl love every day give me give me the feminism give me give me the love give me the hugs and the rainbows and the unicorns I will take all of that <sighs> like she's got such a good energy as well like normally if I'm really really happy bouncy like bleh, like I was in uh, in in vloggy vlog 41 <laughs> If I'm like that, it's normally because I've been watching a whole bunch of Superwoman videos because her energy just comes through the screen and affects me in such a way. Yeah. So Superwoman, if if you're not part of her YouTube empire by now, what is wrong with you? Go ahead and subscribe. Not that she needs the plug because she's absolutely massive, but you know, we spread love, not hate. Let's hug it out. Monday Night Raw now. Again. I am a massive fan of WWE. I used to be a big fan when I was younger and then like Chav phase came through and I was like, that's too alternative for my tastes. Get out. So I kicked that away as I shouldn't have because I come back to it last year and it was just phenomenal. I'm like AJ Styles, <laughs> lol, lol. They've started with the mixed match challenge thing now and it's a bunch of superstars competing with each other you know we've got a male one and a female one and they're fighting together and it's just that is it's great it's fantastic uh and they and you know whoever wins they get to donate some charity some money to charity of their choice and it's just it is great I, I love watching it you know my boy finn balor and sasha banks you know they did really well in their challenge and the miz and asuka of course they would it's asuka not so much the Miz, but Asuka. Now that's teamwork. Oh! If you follow me on Twitter, you'll know that I have a certain obsession for a certain WWE superstar. She's about yay high, as is the name of Alexa Bliss. I'm obsessed, I can't help it. I love her to bits when it was announced. The goddess of WWE, the goddess was taking part in the mixed match challenge. Wow, I was really excited. Until they said who her partner was and I was just <laughs> Braun Strowman. Alexa Bliss and Braun Strowman together. The tallest guy with the smallest girl. Literally, she does not even come up to his elbow. It is adorable and I love it. And then, and then they had the promo video and I think I actually cried a bit because he like pat her on the head and he like he's called the monster among men but he smiled like I I kind of I had a massive freak out and god help my friend oh god help my poor friend because I was like <coughs> like uh, like proper <coughs> like I was oh so, <coughs> you know I'm so, I'm really excited for it that's another one of my favorites is is my girl and her pet monster. Yeah, it makes me happy. That's what I get up to in my spare time. <laughs> Grace and Frankie season four. Granted, I've not finished watching that yet, but hmm, I loved the first season and they brought out the second season and I was like, yes! And they brought out the third one and I was like, yes! And then they brought out the fourth one with Lisa Kudrow. And I was just, yes! Queens! everywhere so i was having a great time watching grace and frankie so i oh if you haven't seen grace and frankie netflix it's on netflix go watch it's amazing i reckon i'm gonna end up being frankie when i'm when i'm older and that ain't a bad thing let's be honest now for christmas as you would have seen already christmas my sister bought me some tickets to go and watch a certain play. We came across this play um, when it was on the Royal Variety Show a couple of years ago, and then they did a Peter Pan special, and then this, well, last year, technically, they did, um, they did a Christmas Carol special. The play that goes wrong. What a play. What? Uh, no, you don't even understand. Like, oh my God, it was so funny. And we're gonna go and watch the next one in, in November. So I'm really excited for that! Oh, it was so funny! Like, it wasn't the original cast. And that was one of the things that I was really concerned about in the first place was that it wasn't the original cast because 
watching them on the TV. It was, oh my God, my sides were splitting constantly. But be here early, early and the next morning. Wang! <laughs> so I was, I was concerned that it wouldn't be as funny as it was. Um, but no, oh my God, there were places where I couldn't breathe. There were places where I just, I, 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 I actually thought I was gonna throw up. I had to keep drinking water because I was just so laughing so hard. And oh my God. And I won't give away too much because if you go and see it, I don't know if they're gonna do it then or if it was just a one-time thing for us. But we were given this piece of paper by one of the actors who they were searching for a dog, basically. And I'm not even joking. It says his name is, it's a French bulldog. And his name is Winston. Please let me, in brackets Trevor, know if you do find him. He is the only act who is in your best interest to assist in the search. <laughs> do not approach him or surprise him. He is a biter. Find the CD, but not the case. Keep looking. If it cut, I know it's on tour at the moment. I don't know how long it's going to be on tour for, but if you get the chance to go and watch anything to do with Play Goes Wrong, I know that. Peter Pan Goes Wrong is on YouTube, so I definitely recommend going to watch that, but if there is anything to do with the play that goes wrong anywhere near you, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Oh my God, it's so funny. I don't want to give away too much, but just, just go and watch it. It's so funny. Clothes and Beauty, my heated hairbrush. This saves so much time in the morning and I love it. Goes up to 230 degrees, which of course is the one that I use because I, I like frying my hair. But oh, it cuts off so much time and I love it. Also, while on the subject of hair, again, this wasn't one that I discovered in January and it's not specifically new to January, but I should have already done this beforehand. It's not specifically new to January, but it is still a favourite and it, I'll be surprised if it doesn't make it in every single monthly favourites video. It is the Lush. Honey, I washed my hair shampoo bar. Smells like honey, and it smells like coffee, and it just makes your hair smell great. And it lasts a long time as well, so you're spending all that money to have it last two, like two times longer than an actual thing. Plus it's cruelty free, so can't go wrong with that. On the, on the subject of Lush, again, this one isn't really new to my routine, but it is a favorite. Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub. Now, I made the mistake in December to try something new. I thought, you know, I go to Lush every, like every time I'm near a Lush store, I go into it. And that's obvious given the fact that my bathroom looks like a Lush store now. But every time I'm in a Lush store, I go to one. And I thought, do you know what? I might as well, I might as well try something new. So I changed to the Let The Good Times Roll Face Scrub and as great as it smelled, and how the novelty was that it was popcorn in there. It just didn't compare to this. This is the best thing for my skin. I love it so much, and it's vegan. And it's got alcohol in it, I think. Vodka, is there vodka in there? There was vodka. Sea salt to scrub, clean. Organic limes to brighten the skin. Free shavakadu to soften said skin. Lime and vodka, there we go. It's got, it's got it's, you know something's good when it's got alcohol in it. That's a lie. I was trying to be funny. So yeah, that again, it's not new to my routine. It's not new to anything, but mm, I love it. Now, um, speaking of, as I've mentioned loads of times this month already, I went to go and see Paramore with Beth. You know me, I'm, I'm a sheep. You know, I like to think that I'm a shepherd, but actually I'm a sheep because whilst I was there, I was like, Do you know what? I'm not gonna buy any merch. I probably won't because you know, it's quite expensive. And I don't have the money because I'm paying for Disney. So I don't have the money for it. But I saw a girl do something whilst she was there. And I was like, I have to do it. The little cut that you see, snip, snip, fella mucker, snip, snip. I saw her wear that. And I was like, I already have a top like that. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. I have to do it myself. A bogey just went up my nose. So I did that. And it is easily my favourite t-shirt I would show you, but it's, it's over there and I'm wearing this, so I'm not, I'm not gonna, but mmm, I love it so much, it's easily my favourite, like if I could wear it every day I would, but that's really unhygienic so I can't, but mmm, <laughs> I love it, oh I love it. This is gonna be a series of me just making a lot of really random noise, it is. 
Speaking of Cardiff, I've only ever, I, I've, I've, I've been Cardiff lots. I've been there. Um, not for a while though. And I, when I went, I didn't specifically go shopping. We went to like other areas, I think, but we didn't go shopping or if we have, it's changed a lot since the last time. Um, so when I went with Beth, um, we were going in and out of shops. We were going to print. We went to Primark, 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 Primark. We went to that shop. I was explaining to Beth about how for literally, I think about a year, year and a half now, I've been after a leather jacket, but obviously, <laughs> No, I'm not vegan yet. Um, I do live a vegan lifestyle. There's no point in testing and wearing animals because what's the point? I'm not necessarily, there, there's there's reasons why I'm not a vegan. We won't go into those, but you know, I've always wanted a leather jacket because I love how they've looked, but I couldn't find one in my size because <sighs> people don't like me. The universe hates me. So we spent almost the entirety of Cardiff, every single time we went into a new clothes shop, I was like, they got a fake leather jacket, and alas, they did not, until, until we went into Peacocks, and I found this beauty, half price, not even joking, it's not, it's not my, okay, it's not my size, it's a size smaller than what I, I normally have, so you can't really do it up, I don't think. I've not actually tried because I'm pretty sure you can't do it up. But so yeah, you can't do it up because my boobs are too big. But I can wear it with pride because it's it's fake leather as well. And it was 50 quid down to 25. I was like, getting this, I have to, because look at look at that! Look at it! So pretty! Um, I'm a bit obsessed with this at the moment. I will try and wear it at any given moment. Doesn't matter that it's minus three degrees out there right now. You bet I'm wearing this because, oh my God, there's even like zip up pockets. Like I know that that's normally what happens in a leather jacket, but there's zip up pockets and they're quite good as well. And oh my God, I love it so much. Like it's actually, it's actually my favorite thing. Like I could very much have almost cried when Beth showed me. But she found it. She's like the mastermind behind everything. She found it and I died. I'm not here right now, you're talking to a ghost. Cause I'm, I'm not living, cause I'm dead. Because this jacket killed me. I love it so much. And I left it downstairs, but I'm not gonna go and get it because I can't be asked. Back in Primark, we're going back there. Primark, 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 whatever. Um, a friend of mine bought me a, a, a Mickey Mouse backpack and it's tiny, but it's big. Like, I didn't even get how that worked either, but the amount of stuff that I can fit in there for the size of it, oh my God, it's like Narnia in there. I swear to God, I was putting things out. I expected Mr. Tumnus to come out with it, like, oh, hey, how's it going? So that thing is easily my favorite thing ever because it just fits everything in so wonderfully and I love it. I don't watch many of these. I've never done one of these. I probably completely mucked it up, but that's what I've loved this month. So, there's that. Would definitely recommend you checking out the play that goes wrong and all of my music suggestions because wow. But yeah, ciao.